This is Cal, topic 4.4, lesson, problem number 5. The demand function for the sale of t-shirts is given by Q equals negative P squared plus 33P, where P is the price per shirt. We want to first find the elasticity of the demand if the price is set at 10 bucks. So the formula for elasticity is negative times the derivative of Q times the price P all divided by Q. In this case this will be negative and Q will be negative P squared plus 33 P and the derivative here and then times P all over Q which is negative P squared plus 33 P. Alright, the derivative will be, put the negative on the outside here, um, negative 2 P plus 33 and then times P negative P squared plus 33 P and when I distribute this we're going to get um, a negative 2 P squared plus 33 P I keep forgetting my negative on the outside there over negative P squared plus 3 P now everywhere we see a P we're going to put 10 in so negative here. So this will be 2 times 10 squared plus 33 times 10 all over negative 10 squared plus 3 times 10. Okay. Now this is going to be 100 times 2 which is 200. I think I'm missing a negative. Yeah, there's a negative I'm missing. Right there. So that'll be a negative 200 on top and plus 330 and that's going to give me um, 130 on top down here my 10 squared is going to give me 100 plus and times the negative on the outside is negative 100 and 3 times 10 is going to give me 30 so on the bottom we're going to get a negative 70 the negatives cancel and we end up with a um, 13 over 7 Okay. Um, this goes in there about one and six sevenths and this is well over one so this is elastic okay part B alright um, find the price to maximize the daily revenue well revenue is the price times the demand the price function, or sorry, the price is P, and the demand is described by negative P squared plus 33P. So the revenue will be negative P cubed plus 33P squared. To find the derivative, we'll set, sorry, sorry, to find the uh, maximum, we'll take on the revenue function, take a derivative of it which would be negative 3p squared plus 66p and we set it equal to zero okay alright and let's see here solve for p I can take a negative 3p out of here and that'll leave me a positive p minus um, 22 equals zero and I have p equals zero and I have p equals 22 All right. And the original function, let's see, am I doing everything correctly? Um, if I put zero in here for the uh, revenue, then I get zero times all this and it all becomes zero. But putting 20, so this will be the price, $22. That will maximize the revenue. Now, we're also being asked. Um, what is the revenue, part C, um, that, um, that we get as a maximum? Well, we need to put the $22 price into the revenue function. So let me pull this out here. So the revenue function, which is negative P to the third power plus 33 times P squared when we put the $22 price in, we'll get negative 22 to the third power plus 
3 times 22 to the second power. Okay, so let's see if we can get that revenue there. All right, uh, let's see here. All right, so negative, parentheses, 22, close, raised to the third power, plus 33, parentheses, 22, close, raised to the second power, and that'll be 5,000. Three hundred and twenty-four dollars.